Let me show you what this bad boy can do. So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. And today, I've got something new in store for you. I got an old video I'm gonna renew. Uh, I uh, reupholstered a ATV seat about two and a half years ago. Didn't have the greatest camera, uh, the video didn't turn out too hot. So today I'm gonna show you how I reupholster a seat. And actually it's not too bad. So sit back, have your favorite cocktail, enjoy the show. I've been working on the Sportsman for about a week now. And the guy that I got it from tried to reupholster the seat. This is that uh, gripper back type material. It's too short for the seat. He never finished it either. He started stapling it, so that's gonna make my job easier. You can see here he's got it. Uh, so I don't have to remove all these staples, but I will show you how to take the staples out. So what you're gonna need for this job is, you can get a lot of this stuff at uh, Walmart actually. This is a staple puller. Uh, your staples you get at uh, Home Depot. And I bought this online. It doesn't have to be that expensive of a gun, but you want a head like that about that wide. It's about an inch, eh, about an inch wide I'd say. It's an upholstery staple gun. This is a three plus. Uh, it does the job good uh, if you're doing a, like a scrambler seat. It's kind of nice because you can kind of get in at an angle versus like a, just a flat stapler type gun. But yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to need. Your seat cover, of course. I got this uh, off of eBay, Joe Mama. Joe Mama, I like that name. Uh, order all my seat covers through uh, her. She does a great job. I'm not getting paid to plug this, but uh, I'm just telling you that's where I get all my covers from and all of them fit nice. They give a little extra material and they hold up well. Show you the next step. All right, step one. So this is where the uh, staple puller is gonna come in. Uh, like I said, I'm fortunate uh, this guy had already pulled all the staples out. To make this easier, like if you got old seat, I take a razor blade and I'll just cut the material along the edge here, just get it out of the way. And I'll, I'll just start pulling them out and I'll cut the section off and just pull it as I'm going. This actually works really good. It uh, gets under the staple and bites it down and pulls it right out. And these are new staples, so I can also just grab it and pinch it if I want to pull the rest of the staple out. All right, I got the seat cover off, and you can see there's imperfections in the foam. What I like to do is uh, I'll take a little foam, if I can get some one inch foam or something a little smaller and try to fill that in. Otherwise, when you put the new seat cover on, you're gonna see those ripples when you start pulling things tight. This maybe not so much. Maybe I'll actually take a piece of this fabric and just try to fill that in and tape over it. But this gouge is pretty deep. So I might try to fill it in with a little like one inch foam or maybe even half inch foam if I can get it and put some tape over it to keep it down and hopefully that'll keep some imperfections away. So you can see I cut up some of that old cover and I'm filling this in. I'm just gonna take some black tape and tape over that. That'll fill that in nice. I won't show. So I'll get some foam for that and make her look pretty. All right, so I got my T50 staples, my pneumatic air stapler. I'm locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Let's get the show on the road. All right, so I got my, my repairs done. What I like to do is try to get everything laid out nice first. Line everything up. See, you have uh, seams here that are sewed in, so you want to make sure they're in the right spot. I'm just trying to Get that in the right position. Try to make sure I got my, my seam lines lined up. Got two lines around the bottom here, and I got to square it off. All right. I'm gonna 
pop two staples in right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull a sight. So this tightens up. And I can always readjust this later on. I'm going to pop two staples in right here. That's just to hold everything in place while I'm stapling. And I usually start from the two sides, wrap that round, make sure the front's all snug, and then I'll start working my way down. One thing nice is if uh, you screw something up, you can always pull the staple out, redo it. stretch far enough or like this now I got too much fabric on this side than the other side so I might change that. The next step is I want to make sure I get this bowl out of here. So right now that I'm pulling on both sides really hard. I'm probably gonna wrap this really tight as tight as I can staple it and I'll probably let the staples out here and then pull that forward. So this one's getting to be a little tricky. Normally the uh, seat covers go pretty good. This one is not stretching out the way I want it to. Still getting a buckle in the back, so I can always take some steam to it later on. I'll try to get this little bubble out. So I stretch this really hard, and I'm gonna take these staples off and. better. When I do the back, I can probably pull that tight. Generally, I use like quarter inch staples 
they don't poke through. It's looking pretty good. Nice and tight. I'll go down my sides. A lot of stretching and pulling involved. This is where a longer nose would come in handy.
Alright, that side's looking really good. Now to the other side. Gotta get your wrinkles out. I can finish stapling everything else up. All right, you just gotta cut your trim off. Man, that looks nice. I'll take it. A couple subscribers say, you know, every time I click a video on how to fix something on my four-wheeler, Titanium Man pops up. I do wraps, I do seat covers, I rebel engines, transmissions. Um, you know, I am uh, like the jack of all trades. I am not an expert at anything, but I've got the willingness to do something and an open mind and willingness to learn and that's all you need. Alright, to go ahead and just trim off the excess fat. Make her look pretty so it sits decent on the machine. Staple any uh, excess loose ends you see along the way. Here's a little bit loose, so I'll pop one in here. More staples won't hurt anything. I got this bad boy all finished. So if you've been watching my channel for the past week, you'll know what I'm talking about. Got all the wiring gremlins out of this bad boy. Uh, I couldn't get her to shut off. Got her all back together, all buttoned up. Wanted to give her a little titanium man touch with a new seat cover. Got all the lights to work, and it does stop now. I couldn't get it to shut off, but yeah. This looks nice. I'll tell you what, take an old machine like this, clean up the rims and tires, and put a seat cover on it. She'll bring in a good price. It makes it look a lot younger. Let's put it that way. This is a 1998. And I clean up the plastics real nice. I can make this thing look shiny and new. So I hope you like my video. Um, like I said, I've had to redo my seat covering video because it was kind of cheesy from three years ago and I went with the camo because uh, I got the green plastics so she turned out pretty nice, nice and tight. When she sits out in the sun these little imperfections will go away, this will all tighten up real nice you know the heat will tighten everything up so now the part you've probably been waiting for Got my jump pack on. Still don't have a battery for this thing. 
Get everything wired up nice. Now when I turn this on, lights actually work. Did hot wire the fan, just so it doesn't overheat. Got all my lights working. Here you have it folks. Thanks for watching my video. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I've got plenty of players for pairs. And like always, till next time.